I mean, you all you always hear of shell corps, yeah. like, oh, they make this corp to do this, X, Y, and Z. They don't actually yeah, do that. Kind of right? like Big Theory. They don't fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Big Theory. We don't make any fucking podcasts. You're all, you're being duped. Yeah. You're being duped by Big Theory. So he turns out this uh, yacht chartering company, but he never bought any yachts, right? Yeah. Little so what suspect. were they doing with it? You think just like laundering money or what? Oh yeah, maybe he like bought a you know majority stake in a company that sold a nutritional supplement that was you know owned by American fraudster Kevin Trudeau. Oh. Is there any relation there? No, no relation. No. Uh, no. I mean, people would jump on it, but no relation. Probably oh, yeah, just yeah. Yeah. shady, but yeah, like he was Probably obviously shady. using the Shell Corporation to either hide funds overseas, you know, move money without knowing, and yeah, and like he he. <laughs> Kevin Trudeau went to jail, um, for, for convicted fraud. Yeah, convicted fraudster, and he, you know, he. <laughs> it, it's wild that he he was just rubbing shoulders with Barry Sherman, and Barry Sherman. Well, was, so Sh- Sh- Sherman owned shares in the company, which he sold then his shares to Apotex to, to pretty much shield himself, hide yeah. him. Yeah, he shield himself from yeah, from the possible his fucking, investigation. His fucking dick pills didn't work out. He had to get out of there. Old Trevin, Kevin Trudeau had to go to jail because they were selling fucking illegal dick pills, gas station ones, and blew up in their face. Yeah, and then he's hiding behind his company, being like, the company's the shield. Was like, I don't own them. The company owns them. Yeah, it looked legitimate to me. The company yep. owns it. And uh, what are you, you going to do? Nothing. You can't touch me. The power of the corporation is fucking wild. really wild. strong. Right? That's why I'm glad we're incorporated. That's why we we're have Big Theory them. Productions, so we can get all the shady shit yes, we behind. We pretty much got diplomatic community. <laughs> yeah, that's how it. We, yeah, pretty much. Big Theory can go anywhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, and like, so not only was he, he, you know, he was doing some shady business. He, he, you know, obviously Kevin Trudeau. He learned his lessons. He wasn't going to hang out with any other like shady no, characters, I, right? I, I nah, no, got, no yeah. unsavory learned his characters lesson. going forward, right? Right. Learned his lesson until. <laughs> Until he partnered with someone called Frank D'Angelo. Oh, you mean the fucking the fruit juice king of Canada? Yeah, fruit juice the king, guy, the wannabe Baby? Tony Soprano. Uh, oh my god, this guy's just—he's ridiculous, man. I, I I read this. And I couldn't. I don't know what it was. Cheetah Power Surge. What the fuck was that? <laughs> they probably made a lot of money off that, right? Yeah. Steelback Brewery. Didn't know yeah, that either. So they, the Frank Anyways. and Sherman. Uh, you know, work together to produce Cheetah Power Surge Energy Drink, and then they started a Steelback Brewery. Um, and then both these De- D'Angelo brands went bankrupt in 2007. It's estimated that Sherman lost up to $100 million. Um, but that's not the only thing D'Angelo was into. Didn't stop there. D'Angelo, D'Angelo was, you know, he thought himself uh, a regular George Clooney, and he wanted to star in his own films. And when I say that, you might think, oh, these might be adult films. They were not adult films. They were films, in <laughs> fact, no one should ever see or have to sit through. The worst kind of fucking movies you've ever seen in your entire life. Um, uh, the Sicilian Vampire. <laughs> it's just, the it, Red Maple Leaf. It's, the Joke Thief. If you hmm. pull up some clips, you can watch some clips of those. Hashtag look it up. I'm not going to. I cannot sit and watch anymore it's like it's it's they rival ones, the room yeah it's bad it's like yeah they're the upwards, canadian room the canadian room it's it's some of the worst acting the worst screenplays and barry was funding this right and, uh sure like, continuously like he continued to fund this guy after all these ventures went fucking bankrupt a hundred million dollars and he's just still giving money to this guy uh he even helped him after d'angelo was arrested on sex assault and obstruction of justice charges um you know that were later dropped. bankrolling the diddler like come and, on and he bankrolled he he helped him with legal fees as well in that uh he financed all eight films d'angelo made through 2013 um, Academy Makes Awards, wonder, zero Grammys, zero did, Oscars, zero. What did Frank D'Angelo have on Barry Sherman? Right? Why the... It's like, Let's be honest here. What, what did he Why the have? fuck well, are you giving this guy... Like, you're just losing money hand over fist. And this guy's like... I, he, it doesn't take long to look at him. Like, to get him for an interview for this case, like, he was like... he. 
he was acting like he's some sort of mob boss. Right? He's, like, dude, he he's he's basically impersonating Vito Corleone, sitting at this fucking table, being like, "Listen, I I, I know what happened to Barry. Somebody made him an offer he couldn't refuse, <laughs> and he refused. And he that's word for word. He says that, like he quotes yeah. The Godfather, and he's sitting there <laughs> and he's in his suit, and he, you know, and he's got his he's got the food in front of him, and he's acting like he's all mafioso. Like you're like, what the fuck? Like it, it's pretty cringe, right? Like it, it's pretty easy to see through this guy, but maybe he did actually have some connections, right? Like maybe this guy did have some mafia ties, and Barry was indebted to him for some reason. Right. Well, it goes back to, you know, some of the shady dealings with, you know, getting some of these top executives. If they're hiring hiring private investigators, maybe maybe Frank D'Angelo was like Barry Sherman's connection to, you know, like the kind of the criminal underworld. Right. So it's like he was making these connections for him. And yeah, he, they were getting fucking generic brand gabagool, huh? Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then he was he was like using that like yeah like yeah I'll do you a favor, but now you got to do me a favor, right? So maybe he yeah. knew a lot about these you know intricate dealings, whether it be like stealing patents from other companies, right? Or who knows what they were up to? But perhaps that's why he had that on him because he had that information. But obviously, he's done. He's like, ah, you know, after 2013, he made these shitty movies. Ah, he's good. He's not yeah, going to fucking hang out with any other he's shitty not bankrolling any of these losers, right? He's done with He them. would never work with another fraudster, no. right? There's no chance. Except when he worked with uh, convicted of fraud, uh, convicted fraudster Sean Rutenberg. No big deal. Yeah. Like, you got, I'm pretty Just sure another he's one. still in jail. Right? Yeah. Like, and this is late 2010. So, you know, he's dead in 2017. So this is pretty close. He's in, he's working he's with, this with other, this guy. Yeah. Other. So but what is it? He's a Cineplex Odeon co-founder. No, he, that. Or that, no, so, so, sorry. He was introduced by Cineplex Odeon co-founder. That was Myron Gottlieb family. or whatever his name is. Yeah. Mylon Got, Gottlieb. Yeah. Gottlieb. Who had met Rosenberg in prison following his conviction of fraud in the collapse of Livent. So Livent was his company, I'm, I'm guessing, I have right? I no fucking idea what it is. But, uh, and then Rutenberg persuaded, persuaded Sherman to invest in his development of an online trivia game, which obviously didn't pan out. I, pan out I, I mean, be- anyone, if anyone pitches, you know, the history of, hey, you, you want to help me make an online trivia game? The answer should be no. You want to invest hey, in an there was that one. Game? We played that one pretty hard. Which what one? was that one? Remember the one I used to beat your ass at Marvel trivia? Oh yeah, you okay. like pick the category and we yeah, played yeah, it. Yeah. It was a blast. Yeah, 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 that's okay. Maybe that was the app. Maybe short lived. But you know, Barry sues anyway. like room. He was like, a second he didn't like. He's like, ah, I don't like it. Sue him. Um, yeah. Well, he believes he pocketed the money. Like he didn't get his in- he worth his investment. Did. He probably, yeah. probably did. But so did Frank D'Angelo. So yeah. He made, made, the, made the shittiest movies. Now. Yeah. The Sicilian vampire. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a great name, though. Um, yeah. So now it's like, now when you start to paint this picture, you're like, okay, well. Barry Sherman was not this, not, not just like a well-meaning philanthropist who wanted to give cheap drugs to Canadians because he hated big pharma. He was also a guy that would do anything, anything to make a buck, to send, to go to court, to win a lawsuit, to stick it to whoever didn't like him. He had, and en- he had endless enemies at this point. It almost seems this like fuck it. Like we're about to get into a list of suspects here in this who done it. And it literally feels like we're playing fucking clue. Yeah. Because it it's, seems like so we start we started the case file like okay these these two elderly people are murdered in their house pillars of Canadian I mean, society like people are murdered fucking Justin all the Trudeau time. was at his at his funeral the the at mayor funeral, was at he, his funeral like yeah it was huge people are murdered all the time and no one makes a huge deal there there's whatever reason but for this case huge political and influential impact in Canada and. Then after you go through, you're like, well, who would fucking, why, why would you murder this amazing, giving, beautiful human being? Why? And then you're like, oh, wait, he actually is involved in all of this other stuff. And there is countless people who would probably, given the chance, without any repercussions, would just kill him with their bare hands. And we're about <laughs> right? to get into those people. So 
now just to quickly go over uh on the day of the killings um it is it, it is estimated that honey arrived home first they left hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these in broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get ac full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video